welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, we have a good one today. Uh, today we're going to take you, show you how to take your ordinary photos and turn them into an interesting jigsaw puzzle. So we're going to go from a photo like this and turn it into a jigsaw puzzle like this. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to do. Okay, uh, you're going to be uh, acquiring a certain Photoshop action which you can download totally free of charge and it does all the heavy lifting for you and then it's just up for your creativity how you want it to be uh, the puzzle size how many pieces and so forth it's completely up to you uh, you can go from big pieces like this to smaller a lot more pieces like this okay again it's up to your creativity and uh, so I'm gonna show you right now how we get started alright so we have our image the first thing you need to do, okay, is get your web browser, and I need you to go here, okay, designeasy.co, okay, and I want you to go ahead and download the photo, Photoshop action, and it's as simple as clicking the button here and download, and uh, then go, once it's downloaded onto your computer, uh, go ahead and install that action into Photoshop, okay, and that's as easy as just going into your actions and then pulling down on this and then loading an action okay and you hit that load it point it to where your action is that you downloaded and it's done and in the system okay so it can't get any easier than that okay so again go here first download this install the action and then we're ready to go all right so here we are, we've got our image, and we put our actions, installed them into Photoshop, and here they are, it's labeled puzzle, and then there's a whole bunch of actions underneath it. You'll notice that they're separated by aspect ratio, okay? Because the jigsaw puzzle needs to know what the aspect ratio of the image is that it's working with. Okay, you can do five to four, four to three, three to two, one to one, etc., etc. You'll also notice that we can choose the number of pieces in the jigsaw puzzle. So we could do up to a 150 piece jigsaw puzzle uh, if we wanted to on a three to two aspect ratio photo, uh, 98, 54, 24. Now for demonstration purposes today, I'm going to pick a low piece count because this action puts a little bit of a strain on your computer, okay? Uh, doesn't do anything harmful or anything else like that, but it's just memory intensive, okay? So the more pieces you have in the puzzle, the more memory intensive it is on your computer. So I'm going to keep it the piece count very low. I'm going to go for a 24-piece puzzle, okay? And we're going to shoot for something like this, okay? A 24-piece puzzle. All right. And we notice the first thing we got to do is a 3 to 2 ratio. All right. So let's go back to our original image and we're going to go ahead and hit the crop tool and we're going to make sure our aspect ratio okay we can just pull down and select it is three to two okay and <coughs> so our aspect is good okay if we needed to we would crop the image to make sure it complies with three to two and then we're done okay so now our aspect ratio is good we know the photo was good all we need to do now is absolutely run the action. So we go up to the play, we select 24 pieces, and we hit play. Now the system is running the action, and it is stopped and says, we need you to determine how you want the pieces to look. Okay, Each piece, you can see the outline already in the image here. They're very faint, but they are there. And it's saying we need to adjust the bevel and the drop shadow to our liking. All right, so we hit continue. And it opens up the layer style box. And you can see the first piece here in the upper left-hand corner. That's all we need to worry about is looking at the very first piece. All right, so we go to bevel and boss. And the first thing we need to do is determine we want that to go down. And we want to, do we want it to be chisel hard? Uh, the depth, the size. We can adjust that here. Now I'm going to over-exaggerate. 
you can see here. So I'm adjusting how the piece is looking, okay? And I like that. That's a good defined piece like that. And the drop shadow, I click on that, and I'm quite happy with the drop shadow too. So once I'm happy with the bevel emboss, I just hit OK. Now, boom, you'll see the action continue ran, and now it's defined and broken up our image into individual jigsaw pieces. How easy was that? Okay, the action did all the heavy lifting for us, and now all we need to do is finish it, right? Make it more believable. Uh, what I'd like to do is, again, I like to turn around and place it on a nice wood table, uh, put the pieces out, arrange them around, right? Uh, it makes things more believable, okay? Makes a little creativity, too, as well. Okay, so, got to make sure I go on the right documents here. Got so many documents open. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make this thing a little more manageable while we're working on it. And that is because if you see here in the layers things, we have a ton of layers now in our document. All right? So the first thing I want to do is I want to group them together. Okay, so it makes things easier. So we'll click on the first layer and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and find the very last layer. Okay, and our last layer is D6. I'm going to hold the shift key and click on that and that's going to make sure all the layers are highlighted you can see that there then i want you to right click and i want you to group the layers group from layers okay it's going to ask us for a name and i'm going to call this the puzzle all right and there we are we have a group and we have all those layers inside that group so it makes it easier for us to move things around and do things with it Okay, all right, so the next thing is we need to uh, make this thing bigger so that we can see beyond, like if we're going to be on a tabletop or a desktop, uh, we need to turn around and be able to see the border of the table around it, so we need to actually uh, increase the, the image. So to do that, we can come in and we can adjust the uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, zoom out like this okay just that temporarily and I got the crop tool selected and I'm going to expand the image here okay and again that's subjective all right I want to account for how big the pieces are and how big the the other things are so I'm going to make sure that I move things here and I think that probably should be pretty good okay so I click that and now we have the image of the jigsaw puzzle and all the canvas that we expanded across so now what we need to do is highlight the group puzzle okay move the move tool and now we can move all these pieces simultaneously just by dragging so go ahead and just put them in the middle. Okay. Got to turn this background layer off. And so we're semi-centered on our, and so I'm happy with that. Okay. All right. So the next thing is we need to turn around and put a background or a tabletop or a desk. So I picked a simple wood top desk. Okay. Nice wood grain here. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag it into our other photo and then drop it into here. Okay. So now I'm going to just move it into the position. And I'm going to free transform by command or control T. And I'm going to go ahead and expand this out. Okay. So now we're getting there. Okay. Now the thing that we need to worry about is how that action worked okay that action uh, made all these pieces and they made them individual layers okay so if we look here we've got layer a1 a2 a3 etc that's the way the action labels the pieces so the first row is row a the second row is b 
and the third row is C, and of course the next one is D. If you count across, okay, this is piece one, piece two, piece three, piece four, piece five, piece six. Okay, so depending on which piece I want to remove, okay, I can help go through here on the layers and know which piece I'm going to work with. So the first thing I'm going to say, I'm going to take A1. So I highlight A1, and I got the Move tool selected, and so I'm just going to move the piece out. Okay, that easy. And I'm going to hit Command-T. And to make it believable, right, because we're making them believe that we're looking at a tabletop and somebody's doing a jigsaw puzzle. So when jigsaw pieces are on the table, they're not neat and straight. They're, you know, they're a little crooked. So I give a little turn here, and there's piece number one. So then I say, okay, what am I going to do? Let's move this piece here. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So A5, and I click A5, and now I can move A5 out. Okay, and again, Command T for transform, and we'll just go ahead and move the piece over here. And again, this is your creative part. Okay, there's no wrong or right how you want things done. Okay, this is just how you want to give the appearance. All right, so uh, I say here we've got uh, maybe we'll take these three pieces out of the corner here. So that's going to be C. And it's going to be C6, okay? And that's going to move that piece out. And Command-T to transform. And let's move it around so it, it looks like it doesn't belong there. There we go. There we are. And now we're going to go D, D6. And we're going to move it out. Command-T. And give it a little turn. And D5 maybe. And pull it out as well. Okay. Command T. Give it a little rotate. And there we are. Okay. So D2. And we'll pull that piece out. And Command T to rotate. And again, this is your creativity, okay? This is your creativity. There's no right or wrong, all right? So I think this is looking pretty good and very believable at this point. You could pull out as many pieces as you want. We just want to give the illusion that this is a jigsaw puzzle sitting on a wood desktop. And uh, you'd be surprised at what you can do with your imagination, okay? So I'm happy with this. And so now we'll just put some finishing touches on it. Uh, we'll go ahead and close up the puzzle. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, steal. Uh, let's see here. I'll steal this. Got some text. Because I'm not going to bore you with overtaking the text again. Where the heck did it go? I tell you, I have so many things open. I need to close some of these things. Close this up. There we go. There's the copy. I had so many windows open. Didn't know what I was doing. All right. So take the text here. Drop it in on our thing. Drop it on our thing here. And reposition. And there we are. That's it. Again. Save your document, uh, make it as fancy or as, as nice as you want. And again, you could pull out as many pieces as you want. You can get as creative as you want. Okay. And like I said, uh, add some more pieces and do something like this, where it's a, a much larger scale and uh, put it together, pull some pieces out and uh, you make yourself a really nice composite, a nice little creation. And you'll find that it's kind of, people will find it quite unique. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, I'm always uh, glad to hear your comments. And uh, until next week, you guys take care.